Hi teachers! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link a schedule with your Zoom codes and add it to your Schoology page. This is an example of what a virtual learning schedule would look like and each camera is linked to the virtual class. You can either link it to Zoom, Teams, WebEx, Google Meets, or whichever method you use. I also included this resource for free so you can use for your course or follow along if you like. These are helpful if you're a dual teacher or you're departmentalized and your kids need to go to different teachers' Zooms throughout the day. For example, here your students might need to go to your class in Zoom for SEL morning meeting, but then they might need to switch teachers when they get to ELAR or if they have to go to PE, um, then they're going to need to go to a different Zoom to go to coaches class. So in, instead of confusing parents and students, I feel like the schedule not only keeps them on track with the times, but it also keeps them on track with where they click to get to that class virtually. Another thing that I did on this schedule is anytime it's synchronous time or you're having a whole group, I did it in hot in bold color it's the darker color and whenever it's independent time the parents would know because it says independent but then i also shaded it light that way they know the difference the first thing you would need to do is design a schedule i have included below this video a link of the schedule i just showed you but i also have a link to 22 more designs or you can also design your own themed schedule after you have chosen a design, you would need to fill it in with your times and virtual learning schedule. This design already includes a sample of how I did mine. Um, here, you would have a blank one and you can also fill a description or add anything on top. What I did was type click and then I left a blank to go to our Zoom class. And the reason I left that space is so that I can pull that icon here in the middle. So that way here are the instructions of what this child needs to do. I also included the um, Zoom password on the top. And you can color code it. Um, you can write your times on the left side. All you have to do is type it's editable, so you, all you have to do is type here, and you can include color by going to shape fill and add whatever color you like, design it, you can choose your own font and customize it just for your class. After you're done customizing your schedule, save it, but all you need to do is take a screenshot Notice how I did not add the cameras yet. I will be adding them later in order to link them. So don't add the camera icons yet when you take the screenshot. This is gonna be our background. Another thing you can do um, is if your kids are gonna switch in the middle of the day, you can add a red line. That way they know after that red line, um, I will be seeing another teacher or I will be maybe speaking in another language if they're in the dual class. So you can design it and customize it however you want. In order to take a screenshot on the Mac, you do Command Shift 4 and then drag your cursor to the, cover your whole schedule. And that'll take a screenshot and it'll come up in your desktop. Once you're done with the screenshot, you're gonna go to Google Slides. Go ahead and click on blank document so you can open a new project. We're gonna erase these boxes here. And we're gonna also adjust the size and layout of the paper by going to File, Page Setup. And here we're going to choose Custom and it's going to be 8.5 times 11 inches and click apply. And then we're gonna slide that background here to this paper um, by going to slide, change background, and we're gonna choose the image that I took a screenshot of. We're gonna insert our background here by clicking on um, you can either upload it or here, I'm just going to drag it.
after it uploads, go ahead and click done. And now I'm ready to add all of my icons here. So what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna include that icon in your folder. So you can use it or you can use whatever icon you want. And I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to add the icon anytime that the students will need to um, go into our Zoom class. So obviously early in the morning, And then I'm going to copy paste it. I did command C and command V. And then I would need it again here for language arts, command C, command V for social studies, for math. And then I'm gonna also need to link coach's link right here for his PE course. And for RTI, now some students in some schools or depending on what your grade level does, they might need to go to another teacher for intervention or stay with you. So it all depends. So now that you added them, you're going to go ahead and link them. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Zoom and you're going to copy that link for your virtual class, Command C and then go back to your Google Slides, and we're going to link each of these icons. So I'm gonna click on the first one, go to the top menu, insert, and click on link or command K, and paste. Then you would go to the next one and do the same thing, insert, link, and paste and apply. Now remember, if your students are going to be switching teachers in the afternoon because you're departmentalized or because you're a dual language teacher, then make sure you have to be very careful to link the icons to the correct Zoom or virtual web class. Um, obviously, coach's link is not gonna be the same link as yours, so be very careful, or when the students click on it, it's gonna take them to the wrong Zoom class. Um, and then after you're done um, filling it all out and linking every single icon, you would go to File, Publish to the Web. We're going to embed it in our Schoology, so click on Embed. Here for Slide Size, you're going to click on Small. And then let's go ahead and copy that whole link. Okay, then let's go to our Schoology course and click on add materials, add page, and we're going to embed it here. So what you're gonna do when this finishes loading, We're going to go ahead and type schedule, and then we're gonna to go to the right. Make sure not to paste it here in this box. Go to the right, and it's gonna to switch to visual, and we're going to paste that embedded link here, um, and click on display in line, create. And there you go. If you hover over it, you'll see that the links are there. Um, so if when the students click on it, it'll take them to this page. Now, a reason why I have to embed it, if you just add a page and upload the image or copy paste it, it will not link. Um, so that's why I have to publish to the web and embed it here. And that's all the process that I do to create my schedule. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope I was able to help you. Make sure to like and subscribe for more teacher tech tutorials.